Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. La Liga Team of the Season is here, but before we get into that, we need to track back. The other day, we decided to start the Premier League League SBC. Why is that? Well, I was on stream opening up a ton of those premium Premier League upgrade packs, getting a whole load of players, high rated ones, non-informs, uh, non-rares, uh, you name it, we were getting a lot. And someone said, Fuji, you may as well put those towards the league SBC and get yourself that SBC De Bruyne. I didn't think it was a bad idea. So to start off with, we've got an untradeable SBC De Bruyne. We've got to sell the team of the year version for 850 to free up even more coins. And I wasn't to know we were going to pack two mega cards. So the first one you would have seen in yesterday's video, an icon, Shevchenko. I accidentally skipped it. My controller dropped in between my legs. I pressed the button, basically sat on my controller, and I skipped my first Legema icon, which was 220,000 Shevchenko. That's a good amount of coins. So already, we've made 220k back, and the whole League SBC didn't cost me anywhere near that. I actually probably spent, uh, I had all of the cards, and I maybe had to spend like 120 to 150, somewhere around there, to complete. It was Arsenal, Man City, Man United, the big clubs. So Shevchenko, he's gone. And the other player that we still have at the club is Team of the Season, Ericsson. Crazy ass pack luck, man. So already, before even thinking about sending those cards, it's 700,000 added to the Team of the Year, a De Bruyne sale madness really is so worth doing and i'm thinking maybe even to the la liga uh league sbc when those uh, uh, upgrade packs come out but ericsson is still here with us uh, i will say though that the difference between the team of the year de bruyne to the sbc card is noticeable and i would say if you've never played with the team of the year and you bring this guy into your side he's amazing but it's like wearing a shoe that fits really well for a week and then going like three sizes up you'll still be able to walk but it's a little bit awkward and that's what i feel with this kdb card he's just not quite good enough for my team anymore because i know how good that team of the year is so although we've unlocked him i can't see myself using the guy i'll probably bring Firmino back to a cam position or have him striker suarez cam we shall see what we do but that suarez price was mental three million coins someone bought him for last night now he's dropped to like 1.4 so you've got to be careful purchasing these players but let's go and have a look at the team we've made some slight adjustments and go from there so our team right now is looking crazy good we have made a couple new signings from the la liga the first one is Jordi alba 497 oh god i admit I did rush into this purchase, and when we come to sell, we're probably going to lose over 150,000 coins. Try and ignore that for now. Jordi Alba's 88 rated card was amazing for me, and playing a few games in the weekend league last night, what I noticed that was the improvement, his dribbling. Nice animations to get down that left-hand side, comfortable on the ball, and then added to that, when the game's going to feel really nice and responsive, the pace is there. You know how I defend. I track my left back, my right back, my center backs all over the place. So someone with that recovery speed is going to be awesome. Stand tackle, interceptions, physical. He's good. I like Jordi Alba and I liked his 88. So moving up to the center mid position, we have a Sal 265, which I was able to snipe. He sells for about 285, 290, and he does look like a little bit of a machine. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves, which is perfect. Medium to high work rates. I don't know how he's going to feel on the ball, though, because I would say the best position for him is in a three across the midfield, not as like an out and out CDM. Play him as a center mid, but maybe in the middle. So he's acting as that. Um, center mid to drop back and play as, as a CDM. Just like one of those versatile center mids so he can do everything really go forward score goals drop back get tackles in so his pace is there the shooting the dribbling the defending physical he looks very well balanced so i think that's a good price and then in the left forward position we have uh guerez uh, i think i don't know if i say that right One hundred and seventy-three thousand. not a bad price for these stats but what am i gonna say He's lacking skills and he's lacking the weak foot. So if you really are considering using him in the weekend league, be careful. 
he might affect you but we're going to try him out in divisions today because we need to go and do the challenge there's a new daily objective or a weekly objective for the mls player and you're needing to score two goals uh in a game with an mls card for 10 games it's a little bit awkward so what i may do is take off mares and bring on alessandrini i think i am going to rock with the 4 3 2 1 but just to go over some of the cards that i've been using recently roberto firmino killing it and even in like poor conditions in the weekend league he is the game changer he's turning up getting those all important goals 33 games 31 goals 27 assists i only just realized he has 27 assists as well playing as a striker what is this card man love him and the high tie work rate just suits him so well because he will drop back collect the ball allow people to overlap put the balls in behind he's becoming one of my favorite cards uh, that i've used it in a while so 646 fantastic not going to sell him anytime soon ideally i'd love to pack him from the monthly rewards or something like that or even instead of getting fernandinho a roberto firmino would have been perfect but fernandinho we've been using him as an impact sub to be brought on off the bench when Vieira is tired so that works very well and i think i'm going to be selling arias like he's okay but just carl walker is better and i do want to try and push for those elite uh, tiers in the weekend league so that's something that uh, i want to make sure that my defense is perfect and i'm not conceding too many goals but let's go and take a look at this weekly objective and then we'll jump in some division games so here it is score two goals with mls players in 10 separate matches well recommended even if you fail at least attempt to do this when it comes around to sunday and you haven't got any team of the seasons in your club you're going to regret it cheap because it doesn't cost anything is it easy um i would say so if you've got alessandrini or you've got a couple of those uh, premium sbc mls cars i'm sure you guys can score a couple of goals a game or even just change your squad name and have it as like mls goals or something like that your opponent will know what you want to do so i'm sure they'll let you score two you can score two because that's what really this is it's turned into a chore instead of an actual challenge uh, maybe on FIFA 19, they switch things up and it make it a little bit more fun. But that's a good team of the season to get. Forty to 50,000 to put towards the La Liga. Imagine getting Griezmann, Suarez, Ronaldo, Messi. I cannot wait for those SBCs. You've got Tony Cruz as well. But a couple more of those players that were released, like one of them being Suarez. I want to go and check actually how much he's going for right now on the market. Last night, he sold for 3 million coins. I'm not kidding. 3 million oh god and i wasn't gonna pay anywhere near as much as that oh he's come down he's come down a lot so he is selling for about 1.6 so it's the same price or actually even more than an aguero who would you rather have in your team aguero or suarez i mean he's providing the aggression the strength uh very good stamina his finishing was already clinical on his previous cards i just wanted to really add to that pace add to his dribbling so eventually i will get my hands on a suarez but not right now maybe later tonight oh yeah i need to give you guys an update with how the weekend league's going and then we jump in some division matches so i played what was it five games uh came up against a stream sniper again uh i was in the match uh two one down equalizer two two and he quits the game <laughs> brilliant it's just annoying uh so we are four and one because i lost my last game really annoying but four and one we're going to push on later tonight maybe play another 15 or yeah probably about 15 games so check out twitch channel link in the description but instead of playing this with those new cards let's go to divisions try and complete this challenge here we go what a team i think someone's trying to complete the challenge martinez ibra kaka i should never put the kaka in the sbc i'm doing my best right now to build up play but this guy is decent good it good is oh that's why you don't have a player with a three-star weak foot come on lad he has to finish that got a lot of shot power behind it maybe convert him as the right forward i'll do it at half time so he's shooting across goal how does he feel on the ball though yeah not bad actually very nice ronaldinho good ball alessandrini just dink it back post 
Oh, cheesy. Do assist count towards the challenge? It should be assist or goals. Just to make it a little bit easier. Oh, that's a pen. Let's go, boys. I'll take that penalty. Who do I... Oh, let's go with Alessandrini. I need that goal. Alessandrini it is... Yeah. <gasps> what a pen. That was delicious. Side netting. Half time. We're controlling this game. Some of the players that we're using right now, um, Guerrez, the, the three star, three star, is killing the card a little bit for me. Uh, we've got Sal in that centre mid position. A little bit slow. That's just what I'm feeling from the card right now. Just a little bit slow, but he's made some good tackles, interceptions. Nice little drag back. He's over committing. What a lovely goal. <laughs> that was a lovely finesse. Let's go, Sal. That's a good goal, man. Look at the finesse. He just dinked in. Absolutely plopped in the back of the net. Oh, hold on a minute. The hay has just taken me out. Damn, he's got his goal. One of the goals with Ebra. He just needs that second. Good positioning from Rio. That's lovely. Give it back to Sal. Oh, big save from De Gea. What a pass. Yes. What a ball. That was Alessandrini. My God, is he still good. Full time. I could have let him score those goals with the MLS players. But he didn't let me score with Alessandrini. So, no. No can do. No agreement. 4-1 game over i'm an actual idiot i was putting mares in the starting 11 subbing him out to bring on alessandrini when i can use alessandrini in the starting 11 on full chem good turn that's good see the only thing i can do with him is that close ball control and sometimes it's just not a possibility everyone's trying to do this challenge when really, you could just agree with the guy like, yo, let me score two goals. I'll score two goals. It'd be less stressful. But no, we're just grinding out like it's a foot champs game. I'm stopping him from getting the goal with Kaka. Get out of here. You ain't scoring your MLS goals. This is war right now. Go away, Kaka. That power. Right card. Oh, he has to score, man. Those low driven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. On the ball, Guedes is quality. He's, he's all about that tight ball control. Because he can't do anything else. He can't skill. So, you get, you're get basically forced to do that. So, if you like that kind of player, then you're going to get on with him. <gasps> How? Perecek is keeping this guy in it. One thing I am going to do, though, is switch uh, Guedes and Alessandrini again. I'm not liking his finesse shots right now. I don't know. I'm not feeling that kind of shot. So I'm going to try those low drivens and see if we're getting a little bit more success. No, Kaka. No, he's got it. No. Well done, Hullet. That's perfect. Run, 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 run. Oh, that back heel. Oh, that back heel from Guedes. That was pretty special. Now he's going to go for a shot. Thought he was going to go for a shot with Kaka. <laughs> no way he's going to get it. What a save. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Back heel. Hey, let's go, Hullet. Oh, that powerful run. Good stuff. Right, Guedes, hit it first time. Whoa. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're playing him as a right forward. Those are the shots to take on with him. What a goal. Yeah, don't play him as a left forward. Just use him with that right foot. Bang. Now, that is a strike. That's what you want from a team in a season. Mission complete. Won the game. Stopped him from scoring the two goals with those MLS players. And we got our goal with...
a team of the season. What a strike. He left it late. But that's what I'm uh, feeling from the card, though. Having him as a left forward, it's just not really going to work for me, personally. But as a right forward, just looking to drill the shots across goal, I think it's going to be so much better. What's going on here, then? Team of the year. De Bruyne, Modric, Kante, Marcelo, and Bonucci. How many does he want? Go on. Turn him, turn him, turn him. Not bad, Srent. That's another back heel he's done. He's not controlling. Yeah, he pushed me in the back. That would have been a foul. Anywhere else? Yes. Best position to play him. No, Kaka. Yo. Oh, it's with Pilo as well. Whoa. Guedes. Perfect. Left forward to right forward, different player. Half time, 2-1. Team's playing well. I'm playing all right. We're ready to get more goals. Another corner. It's just corner after corner right now. Get that ball out, please. No. Finish. Alessandrini, thank you. 3-2 is finished in a sweaty ass game. I had that dodgy connection, you know, in the 65th, 70th minute, it starts to uh, uh, take place and everything is slowed down. I couldn't get to, like, to the ball, but we managed to grind it out and we got that W. Good win. So now we've tried these team of the seasons. Which ones would I recommend? Which ones are getting sold? So the first one, Guedes, we bought him for 173,000. Three games, three goals, three assists. Having played him as a left forward, it's a problem because of the lack of skill moves. He can't do that Jovinko spin, which is fantastic. And the lack of weak foot, you guys know the preferred shot to take on on this game is low driven. So if he can't provide that, then he's pretty much useless for me personally. So I switched him over to the right forward spot and it was a completely different player because on his right foot, he actually has a good shot. So if you can get him into those positions, you're not gonna have too much of a problem. So my recommendation is to start him as a left forward on full chem and then move him over on that right hand side. Is he still ideal for the weekend league because of that weak foot? No, of course not. But if you're using him in divisions and just having fun with the card, then he's fine. On the ball, dribbling, I didn't feel anything was holding him back. He was pretty effective with those tight turns and rolling past defenders. Physical, didn't notice him to be that powerful. And actually, his acceleration, although it says 95, he wasn't jet quick compared to other cars that I had in the team. But then again, like a couple of opponents did have some really fast players. So take that into consideration. But his shooting, it was good on his right foot. His dribbling was nice. Was he really a game changer for me? I wasn't feeling anything like that from the card. So I would say a good price, 120, 130 is probably what he's going to drop down to and settle at. Was he fun to use? Yes. Is he a game changer and ready for the weekend league? No. Uh, you've got Sal. And I'll be brutally honest with you, I didn't like him as much as I thought I was going to like him. What this card is lacking is commanding the ball when he's going in for a challenge. So can he get tackles? He can. But does he feel like he has that power to just burst through, control, knock off your opponent and carry away with it? He probably will do it like on the odd occasion, but I just didn't feel that consistency with him. And the lack of pace in the midfield going from like a Patrick Vieira and even a Fernandinho, I don't think Sal's really at that level, to be honest with you. And on the ball, he didn't feel great. So if you're using him as a centre mid, he can't really provide you much in the attack, like playmaking and stuff. Uh, if you're wanting to dribble, he, he feels a little bit heavy, like clunky. Uh, his shooting though, like he scored a very nice finesse shot, maybe lucky, uh, probably. But tracking back, he was all right. Like I, I just don't think that he's worth 265,000 when you can really get those coins together and purchase someone like a Fernandinho or even a baby Vieira on this game. So that's why I'm harsh when I'm doing reviews because there are just better options out there. But Sal, it was okay. I just didn't think that he's worth 265k. And then you've got Jordi Alba in the left back position. He's all right for me. Um, am I liking him as much as the 88? I don't know. I don't know right now. It's still early days. I'm going to have to really test them out in the weekend league. But these two, am I going to continue using the cards? No. But Guedes, he's fun, not ready for the weekend league. And Sal, he's just lacking for me that real physical like power just to command the ball. Hopefully, I've explained that uh, all right. So he can get tackles in. It's just 
the success rate of coming away with it and powering through that's what's lacking with Sal and on the ball he doesn't feel amazing but then again he is like a defensive minded centre mid so maybe if you actually use him as that lone CDM he might be better for you but anyway guys that's where I'm going to end it hopefully you've enjoyed today's video I will be streaming as this video has gone live so link in the description to my Twitch channel we'll be playing the weekend league and all that good stuff so thanks for watching team out peace